and welcome to another edition of RCW Spotlight. I am your host, your role model, Rick Lieb. Can your wife say to stop? Yes, dear. Looks good, looks good. <laughs> two-time, former two-time world heavyweight champion. And with me as always, he is the Don of professional wrestling, the manager of champions, and of course, the Sicilian Beast. You know what? I'm hoping every time I call you the Don that Frankie might see this and go, damn it, I got to go back on that show just so I can tell him not to. Don't you miss Frankie? I do. Frankie, don't lose that number. I'd rather have him in the seat than the guy we have today. Of course, our guest today is the man who I gave a limp to. His name is now the Honolulu Hammerhead. We're going to have to have him talk about that in the next segment. He is, of course, Draven Post. Aloha. And Draven, you, my you, buddy, how you doing? I, I'm good. Knees a little. Thanks. Um, You do realize why I did that, right? Let me ask you, do you realize why I did it? I got a little cocky out there. I ain't gonna lie. A little cocky? And I'm sorry to let down all the wonderful RCW fans out there. Let them down. I let them down. I, listen, I didn't beat you this time. Listen. I let them this down. This time. I'm sorry. Listen. Have you had a chance to watch the match? Yeah. No, no, not the one where I messed up your leg a little bit. The one before that. I saw one, two, three. That's exactly what I thought you'd say. My man right here saw it. Oh, you, sure. you, you know, the sad thing about it is... It looked legit to me. Listen. That's listen, all I'm going to say. It looked legit. Listen. My shoulder was up. Listen. Stop imitating him or I'll beat you up again. My shoulder was up. Oh, man. If, if they I, love I, when I do that. If I wouldn't get in trouble... You know they love when I do that. Oh, yeah. citizen. Listen. Here's the deal. Unfortunately, I can't get mad at you for saying that. And I'll tell you why. I literally taught him to do that. That's one of those things that I So, in other words, he was being a goofball, and you taught him how to be a goofball. Everything you wanted to know about being a goofball by Rick L. No, Lee. I taught him that a win was a win no matter what. If the ref doesn't see it, then the, guess what? You still get the win. Hey, just because, It counted, didn't it? Just because I moved to the license but I was, doesn't mean I don't know a few tricks. Listen, but I got upset. Because of the fact that it happened to me. When it's usually happening to the others and not me. And so I got upset. And rightfully so, but... Right. Well, listen. Win. And I probably wouldn't have got so upset had you not walked around with the stupid shirt that said, I pinned Rick Lee. But I did. But he was not lying. No, he was lying. He was not lying. And, and I will say, you did forget to mention one thing about the Sicilian Beast. The legend himself. He is a legend. I said that last week on the show. You obviously watched. Yep. Anyway, I promoted you. Don't ask me why. Um, so how's the knee? It's a little tender. A okay. Little sore. Well, guess what? We're gonna go ahead and try and numb it. Uh, drinks our fans have told us to try. We had two people, or we had two drinks that were uh, written in, and I can't wait for this. Smirnoff Seltzer Pink, Pink. Lemonade. Hmm. By the way, shout out to uh, Ben Roethlisberger and his. Foot, our uh, footballing, it B A H L uh, podcast. Um, that's where we got this. I idea. can give you a perfect example of balling. My shoulder was up. I'm gonna punch you in your freaking <laughs> old ass grill when we're not on the air. Oh look at that! Okay. Oh okay, wait, 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 wait! I'm not on a diet. Fill um, it up. Quit whining, Louise. Oh gosh, that smells really good. Are right, you a little more? Yeah, I want a lot more. Thank you, brother. Can you put it in a glass? Shut up. Ass kisser. Thank you, brother. <laughs> All right, go ahead and really put it in there. All right, so we're going to try two. How the hell did you get it to top off? How good am I? Pretty good. Salute. Yeah, salute. Oh, you had spillage. I'll get them. Who cares? Right. Spillage. All right, you'll wipe, I'm sure you'll wipe the table. Sure will. Look at that. That looks so nice. Look That's there. disgusting. Mm. What, the drink is? Yeah. Let me see. Do it all. You don't want anything. That's, There's no. It's like it's not sweetened. That's not... Do you remember Fresca? Yeah. Isn't that old? Do you I, remember Fresca? I want a, mm. I want a, I want a pop. That's, I want a Fresca. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. This is Fresca come back to life. See, right? The, the, the yeah. taste wasn't... That one's yours. But mm. I'll tell you what. The Beast rating... Two thumbs down. Yeah, two thumbs down. It's the aftertaste is what gets you. Yeah, it, it's actually not bad. I mean, it's not be, bad. Let's be honest. Sugar. Let's be honest. Well, the, we're trying to be honest. It was the shits. Okay. All Thank right. you for that one. Okay. Hey, we got to get one on the show. It's not right. spotlight. Once a week. Once. once a week. All right, we got 
Holland, New Holland. Rum punch. Who's it made by? New Holland. New Holland? N new Holland. You know, like the country Holland. Okay. You know, the wooden shoes and stuff. There's a New Holland? Yeah, there's a new one and an old one. Okay. All right, let's see. If you can do that top off thing again. Oh. Again, no, that's an inch away, man. That's like a whole inch. That's what she said. Yeah. There you go. Oh, that's, that's what you do with it. That's not the size that matters. The motion of the That's what he right said. There. A lot. There you go. Uh, thank you. He gave you more than me. Quit whining, Louise. <laughs> Just do it to get under your skin. Oh, you had to pour that extra? Salute. All right, here we go. Boom. Oh, spill boom. it. All right. He'll wipe it up, trust me. Okay, that's fantastic. That one is pretty good. That oh, one. good stuff, Maynard, yeah, right that, there. That one is pretty good. Okay, so the, the New I think, Holland, I think I'm done what's it called? Right New Holland Rum Punch? New, New the Rum Punch is good. Uh, I wonder where you can get this. This, I, I don't know. It was sent in. The Smirnoff Seltzer. Listen, it tasted good up until we found out there was no sugar. Well, the, it's the aftertaste for me. It, it tastes good going in, and then the aftertaste. Look at this it. one. This one. Wait, Wait a minute. that's good. Are it's we talking good. about pop still? I mean, the uh, alcohol. This is good. Yeah. This one, not so much. No, right. I bet you they'd be good together, though. No, well, maybe. Hold on, let me see something. Hand me that one. You can have it. I don't want it. I'm not trying to want it. I don't want it. Half and half here. I wrecked your shoulders up. It's all <laughs> up. <laughs> and he ain't just talking to himself, Dad. All right. Don't be funny. I'll beat him up on the air. Funny. Don't Mixed make together, fun. they're, yep. fu they're fantastic. <laughs> Good. Glad to hear that. Hey, we only have a budget for one swear show. I didn't say anything. I just choked up a little bit when I tried to say fantastic. I like this so much. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take a commercial break. We come back, we're going to interview this young man. So we'll see you in two minutes, two seconds. Do you need something hauled away? Are you looking to scrap that old washer and dryer? Whether you're moving, doing some spring cleaning, or just need something taken away, Fuller's Cleanout is the way to go. Contact them by phone at 234-716-9651 or on Twitter at FCO the way to go. If the stuff has to go, call FCO. TNT Health, unmasking your potential. So, you want to look like the headline Vinny DiMazzo? Here's your chance. Let's not be ridiculous. Nobody can look like Vinny. But if you need that energy before your workout, or you want to lose some weight, burn some fat, we got that. You want to build some lean muscle? You can get it at TNT. Or even if you just need the essentials, BCAAs, juiced up, we're here at TNT Health, we carry it all. Come visit us at TNTHealth.com. Saturday. October 8th at the Akron Turner Club in Talmadge, Ohio, RCW presents A Grave Affair. This event will feature three title matches, two grudge matches, and the first annual Yeti Memorial Bunkhouse Stampede Battle Royal. All of these matches will take place in a steel cage, and tickets are selling fast. Contact your favorite wrestler or one of our sponsors for more information. Welcome back to RCW Spotlight. Um, all right, well, I've talked him in to doing the half and half. Half of this, and half of that. Half of this, half of that. Now, let's let's go with that. Are we in the chairs here? Cheers, yeah, cheers, cheers. Salute. It's better. It's good. It's better than this was. But you know what would make this perfect? If you left this out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I agree. I agree. 
I like it. It, it. The other one was just too sweet. My mom would be very disappointed you got, you missed in me. Spot. I spilled there, a lot Mr. of my drink. That's, that's what she said. All right. Anyway, um, so our guest today, Mr. Draven Post, Honolulu Hammerhead. Hawaiian Hammerhead. Oh, Hawaiian Hammerhead. Yes, sir. Okay, I, I, I'm used to Honolulu Guru. What, I, what, I what changed? So, what changed for me was my eyes have been opened. Your eyes were always open. To, to a new side. Once I started after graduation and I started thinking, Lionheart is a ferocious animal. Beast is a ferocious animal. Ferocious. That's what she said. A guru is a teacher. I'm not a teacher. I will always be guru to some. But I thought, why not bring out my animalistic side? A guru is the best at what he does. He's a guru. But that's like a teacher. That's what I always but thought it was. When I got down and sad because... I didn't know what I was anymore. I, I I battle depression, and if you ever need somebody, you can reach out to somebody. There's always somebody out there. You could talk to a horse, didn't you? I've talked to horses. I knew this one guy, actually, it's a true story. He was going to commit suicide. He actually was getting ready to jump off a bridge, and then they're like, well, can you do something? Can you say something? So I'm like, on your mark. I, I didn't know what else to go with, man. Uh, I, I just wanted to put that out there. What? It's just like... <laughs> well, he started laughing, too, and he didn't jump. I just wanted to put that out It worked. There. It worked. Boom, boom, boom. Right? Yeah. I'm just saying. I didn't want to disrupt the mojo, but... So I got sad, and I was missing some family and friends, so I look at my arm, my grandma, and then I look at this one for my friend, Tim. And I remembered the story of him catching a hammerhead, and I said, that's it. I moved to the town that he was from, Wyndham, Ohio. And I thought, I'm a hammerhead. You know, why didn't you just go with, like, the third Joker card? Well, that's the fifth Joker fifth. card. Fifth. I, I, I corrected it once you turned your arm and I saw it. Good lord. Th third was good, too. Third, third was a good one, fifth too. Third, that's what bank we go to. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a fifth, eight, fifth Joker card. But I brought out a more animalistic side, and the tides, no pun intended, are changing for the Hawaiian hammerhead. Well, I hope so. I mean, for your sake. Just don't run into a, a role model again. I'm just saying. Well, what, he doesn't want to hear me. No, no, no. Okay. I mean, come on. Shut up. I will say... He didn't hear RB. much. He heard nothing. I, I, I think after this last one, our, our, our feud can end. I actually That's up to you. Listen, no, you have to understand something. Whether he wants to understand this or not, he was my protege at one time. And I really did try and help bring him along. Now, did I try and get him to do a little bit of rule breaking? Absolutely. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Unfortunately, he's a nice guy. He didn't want to do it. I understand that. I'm not forcing your hand. I got mad at you because a nice guy shouldn't be going around wearing a pin Rick Leaf shirt. But you did. Um, <laughs> shut up. It's not even funny, Beast. <laughs> Why, John? Why? Exactly. <laughs> You're over here laughing at this. But, and, He's and cracking so, me up today. And so that really angered me. You get that? Oh, but, no, I get it. But I think everything as far as us is over. No. I have nothing over No, there. Rick, don't call Wendy's. Don't say, where's the beef? For where's now, the beef? For now. Where's the beast? Where's the beef? For now, my beef with you is over. I want to move on to other things. Like, um, your boy. All-American City champion, Miles Jacobs. His boy. I've had cracks at that belt before. I say it's, it's my time to shine. Yeah, that's probably not oh, going to happen. I got to watch that. Yeah. Um, he really likes that belt, so I don't think you're going to... I don't think that one's going to happen for you. But hey, you know what? Good well, luck trying. Hey, Rick. He can be Gollum and, want, and flaunt his precious all he wants. But when I take it from him... You you know what? What? Where's the beast? Uh, where's the beast? Uh, 
anyway, so we're going to go ahead and move forward. That's the only way to move. Well, no, I'm. Oh, well, no, I'm if you watch back. back to the future, you can go back, you can go forward, but it doesn't really. Marty, help. you're going to get back to the future. Your kids are going to be messed up. Great movie. That's true, Marty. October 8th, Grave Affair. Oh, yeah. We have the Yeti Memorial Bunkhouse Stampede. So are you I, I, I are you entering your name in that? I am. Okay. I knew he would. I'm I wanted to be one of the first ones to declare that I'm entering and I will be winning. I was Whoa! I was That's bold. I was Yeti's last opponent. Anyway. Ever. I know. That was so Not just RCW. Ever. You know how close that I'm came? Pretty sure. Do you know how close that came to being your last day on earth? No, I was probably close, but yeah, yeah, probably. But Yeti and I are friends. Why? The, yeah, wait a minute. Last I saw, Yeti tried to kick your head off of your shoulders. It's called respect, Rick. I earned it. Yeah, he earned it. He tried. Listen, I'm just gonna say this right now. I actually went out and watched that match, and it was complete carnage. Oh, Ironically, we... the name of this event. Is called Grave Affair, Caged yeah. Carnage. Caged Carnage. That, that yeah. looked like more like roadkill. That was wow. that was bad. Yeah. And you, I felt you bad became, for you, but your courage—it was a profile in courage. It really was. My hats off to you, dude. You became his friend after that. Well, I got back to the locker room, beaten, yeah, battered, chest on I, fire. It's a mild way of putting it. And he said, "Good job." Good job. Good job. All right. He was impressed that you, you kept on coming back. Although that knocked you out cold. And he pinned you right afterwards. But before that, you kept on fighting. He he actually, I talked to him about you. I talked to him about everybody because he was, he was like a brother. And he basically said, yeah, he's like that kid. He's got heart. He just needs to build it up. Build up some muscle so that he can back his heart up. He's working I, on it. I've been in the gym every day. Wait a minute. What is that? Woo! Is that starting to go upward? Yeah. I did see that. Hey, Wyndham, Ohio's got a gym. Who knew that Wyndham, Ohio would have a gym? Hey, can you answer me a question? I didn't yeah, even think they had a guy right, named Jim. Small as it is. A couple. Yeah. Well, there's like 600 where, people. In where is Wyndham, Ohio? Okay. So it's about... Yeah, because we get a lot of questions from there. I've noticed that. It's a, it's about, have you ever heard of Newton Falls? Yes. Yes, my wife was from Newton Falls. Oh, okay. So it's about it's about 20 minutes from there. It's about another 20 minutes. Then why would you say Newton Falls? That means it's still far away. South or what? I'm trying to think. What I don't drive thinking. expressways. That's 40 minutes. Okay. Well, have you heard? For him, it'll take two and a half days. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Well, it's around the... Ravenna, Kent, Streetsboro, Newton Falls area. Somewhere up there. Yeah. Okay. It, it's about it's about the heart of Ohio, pretty much. It's the like heart right of Ohio. Now, do you have your heart on? <laughs> hopefully. Family show. Family show. Have, have, hopefully. I said heart. Because, like, I had heart surgery. So, a lot of people ask I me know. if I still have my heart on. I do. Well, it, it's about. That's my wife. It's about there and. A lot, I get a lot of people say, how do you afford to come from Hawaii to Ohio every other month? Didn't you move to Ohio? Oh, yeah. Okay, I was going to well, say. Fuel and coconuts started getting expensive there, so I, <laughs> you know, I had to make fuel the switch. Fuel and coconuts. The hell do you mean coconuts? Hey, they might grow on trees, but guess what? I got to pay for them. You remember, there's only two things you need for survival. Sunshine and coconut. You know they sell coconuts like right at any Walmart or something. Yeah, they're a lot cheaper here than in Hawaii. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Yeah, Hawaii is... I mean, they even have coconuts in the gas station there. I saw it. Right. What is that? This? This is a koi fish. A koi fish. Okay, well, why aren't you the... Uh, the koi fish. Okay. So, the Wyndham koi fish now that you moved to Wyndham. So this is a matching tattoo I have with my wife. Shandy Post. I know who she is. And she has the other half, the light half, and I have the dark half. And it's a yin-yang. Yin-yang, da-da-yang, 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 right? 
He's the ying da yang da ying da yang. There's yeah. a little bit of Can light. Can you say that for me once? No. Ying da ying da ying da There's a little bit of light in the darkness and a no, little I bit of darkness in the light. Ying da yang da ying da Pretty cool. Will you stop? My shoulder was open. He hit me in the hand. Okay. Oh, gosh. Hey, Tony T, if you're watching, I want him in the cage. <laughs> hey, Tony. Have you ever been in the cage, Ken? No, but no? it's only the first time, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, hopefully oh. we'll get Valedictorian back and I can, you know, send him back to where. Oh, my gosh. How fun would it have been to, have been a, to wrestle a Valedictorian in the cage? Well, there you go. Hey, it's you not Tony T, listen to that. Is, is it too late? late? You could have been. Too late? You could have thrown him from one into one cage. And, and can you imagine that little, pretty little white, pink and what color is his mask? And blue and white. Blue, blue white, and black. With blood it would be red, red, white, and blue like the flag. It would have been red, white, and blue. Yeah, well, he, he, he would be. He'd be black and blue. You know, he, he would have went from the valedictorian to the patriot all in one day. <laughs> Very patriotic. Right. It's a grand old flag his head. You know? <laughs> all right. Okay, so you're going to be in the uh, bunkhouse stampede. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um. The other names that I've heard joining that thing, I, I, myself, I after I figured I'm gonna make easy work a die hard uh, afterwards anyway, so I'm not gonna even break a sweat. Uh, so what? Jimmy, don't make sure your name, shoes but... are tight. Oh shut up! Okay. It's a, it, it, I believe it's a cage match, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Die Hard told me to send you a message. <laughs> you realize that the last... Oh, Die Hard's going to really? send him a message. i got to hear this. Rick, I'm going to erase your sorry ass October 8th. Don't act like he really had the balls to say that. We know better. Let me tell you something happened to Die Hard last time. He's in a cage with Rick Lee. Rick Lee put him in a... He, was a, he had to have surgery done to his knee. If you go... If you look, you'll see the stitches and everything in that knee... He was in an immobilizer for six months. Months? Out of wrestling for almost a full year. Woo! Uh, yeah, Die Hard's probably right now peeing his pants and sweating bullets. I don't see that. I don't see that. He's not... No, oh, you he's, think he's too stupid to? No, he ain't that kind of guy. Yeah, too stupid to. He's not sense. too stupid. No, that's kind of what you meant. No, I did not. I'm going to go ahead and say that's what you meant. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now. What? You were one of my first trainers. Yes. I was your protege for a you while. You were. After I got left, the only two people to pick up the scraps and... Help you out was Die me. Hard and Crowley. I know the story. And Kenny Hendricks has been helping me with, with some, the, with some the, With the gym. That's why I had to beat him up too. By the way, Kenny Hendricks, for people that were wondering, claims... That he tore a ligament in his leg and now he's not going to be able to make it for October 8th. But the truth is, he was afraid of Rick Lieb, so he had to make up a BS story and he had to run out of the ring. Well, did you notice when you and I were legal, just starting off the match and I immediately tagged out? Thanks for that trick. Yeah, I know. And so I showed a trick. I tagged out to the man that pinned Kenny Hendricks for the Super Heavyweight Championship. Which I think needs to come and, back eventually. And what happened? What happened to Max after that? Uh, nothing. didn't he walk out after? Um, I cracked his head like a coconut. Oh gosh! No, you actually cheated, and you hit him with something, and you should have been disqualified. But I'm glad you didn't. I learned from somebody how to do that. I'm glad you didn't. Who would that be? You hit him with a pineapple. Hey. I'm going to crack your head like a coconut. Does have some meaning. Well, it looked like he cracked his head like a pineapple. No, I cracked him with a pineapple. Right, exactly. You don't crack open pineapples or coconuts with pineapples. Hey, I... I Maybe you do. That's probably why... you're like making fruit salad out of I here. think I saw Justin Sider pick it up and, you know, start eating it off the floor. I, I thought the way had more money in class than to eat food off the floor when the five second rule has already passed. Oh, well, it expired I'm a sure, long time before I'm sure the up. five second rule didn't pass. And by the way, a pineapple's a pineapple. I would have eaten it too. They're delicious. Anyway, yes, that's yeah. beside the point. Uh, yeah, you cheated and you still got beaded. <laughs> right. Listen, here's what happened. Um, producer, you might be in the screen. You might want to step back a little bit. Yeah, thank you. 
they're getting like they're gonna like walk it up towards us like hey you know yeah producers are about to I, make a walk on i don't think she understands i'm married you can't be coming in here trying to put your hand on. Oh, her. she wants you so much. Is, 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 she, oh, is she the next guest on our CW spot? No, the producer you, will not be the next guest. On you that. never know who's going to show up. Yeah, that's a, a good point. Good point. We can get her book. You know, you know who the next guest is going to be? Who's that? Mike Voorhees. Okay. Michael Voorhees, because we're going to do the uh, prediction show. Yeah. yeah. You know who I would love to get on this show? Who? The DJ? I'd love, wife? I'd love to get two people on this show. At the same time. Who's that? Because I'd love to hear the story from their perspectives, too. You and you and I might not see eye to eye. We might be on two sides of the playing field. But I want to ask you this. You told a story of Shane Taylor scaring some old dude who turned every color of the rainbow. Yeah, that would be great. I wish we could get you. I heard that story. Me, Shane Taylor, and Gemini? And Gemini, yes. Yeah. That would be an awesome episode. All, if, if we ever got Shane Taylor, we would do that. I would get all three of us in there. We'd tell the story. That would be awesome. It's a fantastic Anyone story. hear from him? Huh? I, I, I talked to him every once in a while on the phone. Where's yeah, he at? I'm, Where's he at? I right now, uh, Texas. You, oh. he, this guy was saying all this horrible stuff about your wife, and then Shane Taylor jumps down and no, this dude. No, he was chasing her. Oh. Yeah. She was managing us. He chased her around the ring. And then Shane Taylor got in front of him. He was Jack Frost at the time. Got in front of him and he goes, Old oh, man, I swear, if you take one more step towards her, it's going to be a really bad day for you. Something like that, man. And all I know is that he said that and I got like goosebumps for the guy because I was like, he going to kill that man. And uh, that man thought, he going to kill me. And he turned like, I, it was funny because it's like face like. Every color of the rainbow? He just like, Ooh. boom. And I'd never seen a guy that was that old run that fast. He, he could have been a marathon runner after that. He went somewhere over the rainbow? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was, that was, that was funny. And that was, you know. Yeah, that was right at the Eagle Club over there in uh, Akron, Ohio. All right. Ooh. I haven't been to an Eagles club since uh, Cambridge. <laughs> That's been a while. You what's, ever, what's Cambridge? Cambridge, Ohio? I know where that you is. Ever, okay. I've been there. My uh, my grandpa, when he was still alive and his brother did a Eagles, they had Eagles club. So you have, you have relatives here in Ohio? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's where most that's where most of my family comes from. I just uh when I graduated I moved to Hawaii Hawaii for you Hallies and um you know shake your head at me, Mahu. I, I don't wanna lay that. I don't know. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah no, right. But yeah. but but it was it was fun to go and work the Guernsey County Fair from uh, Cambridge or in old Washington, which is right outside Cambridge. Is that where Guernsey County is? Yeah. And now I know the rest of the story. And, and be and be back in that wonderful place. You know, I miss it so much. I used to go camping there. I, I went out there. Are you going to cry in the air? Okay. Real men don't cry. I but know that. I walked out there. I said, are you going to cry? I walked out there. <laughs> All right, my hoop. Let's Stop keep the calling jokes me names thinking. I don't know. I, I would say it, but it's a family-friendly show. Oh, so you're swearing on the air? No. I gotta beep you out? No. But is he being a chooch fungal? <laughs> For our Italian fans, you know what that means. I know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> but to come out there in Guernsey County and get to wrestle at some place that you visited as a kid and see all those wonderful people cheering you on against, you know, I faced a lunatic. Have you guys ever wrestled in some place you grew up? Yes. And then just to come out there and see, like, people... Do you want to hear a good one, Draven? Yeah. One time, I walked three minutes up the street and wrestled. That's awesome. Three minutes from my house. That's awesome. I wrestled at my high school. Okay. Good. How did that make you feel? Like, did you, did you, like, yeah, all these people who I went to high school with are watching me. Understand this, I was kicked out of high school, so I didn't give a damn about what it, what they felt. I went over there, and I saw a bunch of idiots that probably thought that I was going to amount to nothing, and now where are they at? They're in the stands cheering me on. And while I was in the ring, winning matches, beating up on people like Marty Janetti and freaking uh, Danny, Danny Doran. Doran. Jabroni Joe. All those Actually, guys. no, wait a minute, that was a different high school, but I know I beat up on some people. It doesn't matter, I never win. I never lose. You never win. Shut up. Uh, I mean, I pinned you, so. What? Don't get beat. My shoulder was up. Okay. I had to hear it one more time. One more time. My shoulder was up. 
We're going to go ahead and take a commercial break. When we come back, we're going to take your questions. And hopefully, he doesn't want to listen to your questions and answer them. And he'll jump out of here. See you in just a minute. I'll answer your questions. Blue Collar Brawler, J.L. Watson here. I work hard all day, every day. Working for the common man, working for everyone. And when I get off work and I want to have a nice cold beer to reward myself, I come to Blue's Tavern in Prairie Township, Ohio. For good times with good people in a family-like environment, come to Lou's, 3238 Lincoln Way East in Maslin, Ohio, 44646. Would you like to see your commercial aired on both RCW Spotlight and RCW Global? Contact us on social media at facebook.com slash Rubber City Wrestling, Instagram at Rubber City Wrestling, or email us at the RCW Network at gmail.com. RCW Rubber City Wrestling. Wake up out there! This is the outcast Shannon Moore. Mr. Technical Barry Horowitz. Fight Foom, the Shockmaster, and the B-A-Double-D. This is Chad Saylor, and you're watching Rubber City Wrestling. Real pro wrestling. If you don't believe me, ask me. I'm Magnum T.A., and that's some straight talk with the boss. Catch RCW Spotlight Sundays and RCW Global Thursdays only on the RCW Network on YouTube. Saturday, October 8th at the Akron Turner Club in Talmadge, Ohio, RCW presents A Grave Affair. This event will feature three title matches, two grudge matches, and the first annual Yeti Memorial Bunkhouse Stampede Battle Royal. All of these matches will take place in a steel cage, and tickets are selling fast. Contact your favorite wrestler or one of our sponsors for more information. What did you do? Welcome back to RCW Spotlight. What do you mean, what did I do? You did something bad. No. Oh, I gotta keep my glasses on. I might, I might have missed something. Bar looks great, Ken. Bar looks great. Isn't yeah. that shiny and nice? Yeah. Too shiny. It's a, I'm gonna go home and clean hey, it. There's a, there's well, fans, it's that part of the show again where you love the most. It's that time of the show again. You've got questions. We We've got, got answers. answers. All right. This is shiny like Tom. What are you, freaking frack? I don't know. What Dylan, is he stepping you fetch it? Dylan Doe. I don't know. Abbott and Costello? No, you're not good like that. All right, well, if you'd like That's to have... enough to pin you. Uh, all right, if no violence like, tonight. If no you'd violence. like to answer... If you'd like to ask a he question has violent on the air, tendencies. And you'd like for us to answer it. This is a, a health, mental health issue can I going get this, on Can I progress. get this out? This is, like, the producer wants me to do this, okay? If you'd like for us to answer your question in the air, feel free to write us at twitter.com forward slash wrestling rubber. Wrestling rubber, yes. That's a stupid email address. Why do you like it? I you don't can, like it. They oh, couldn't put City in? No, apparently it was taken. We're, we're Rubber City Wrestling. Well, what happened was the when before the Rubber City Wrestling was bought, they had already bought the name, and then the previous owners forgot the password, and so they couldn't sell the Twitter. So now there's an old Twitter that doesn't work, and a new Twitter that does. Now hopefully one day we'll get the old one but there is, um, uh, what is it? The FC, or the FC, the RCW uh, Twitter page is Rubber Wrestling because they can't put City in there, and then the RCW Network page, which is a different entity, believe it or not, is Wrestling Rubber. Now, for those of you that don't understand, the World Heavyweight Champion, the World Light Heavyweight Champion. And the World Tag Team Champions. And if they ever bring back the Super Heavyweight Championship. All of those are owned by Rubber City Wrestling. Now the Global Television Champion. And the All-American City Championships. Are technically not 100% Rubber City Wrestling. Even though they got the RCW name on it. They are actually owned by the RCW Network. Isn't that weird? Legal made, mumbo jumbo. Yes. Made, all that legal mumbo jumbo. They're made for TV. Yes, those are technically television championships, so the other ones are actually big event championships. That's why you know that there's got to be some serious hate going on for the television championship to be uh, defended right now. Very seldom. In the cage. Very seldom yeah. are the ta or the TV titles, the Ch All-American and 
global television type championships. Very seldom do you see them wrestled exactly. at an event. When was the last time the All American Championship? When when um Brendan Martell wrestled Miles Jacobs. Yeah. That's the last time and that was a while ago. Yeah. It's crazy how fast this year went. Yeah, well it's been over a year. Yeah. You know, Ken, I, I just wanna say this. This is shiny like Tamatoa shell. Oh, whoa. I, I don't know what that means, but this is beautiful. What is it? Velvet? <laughs> you ever watch Moana? You know. <laughs> oh, we you kicked, don't talk we kicked about Joe Lewis's ass. Yeah, hey, you kicked Joe Lewis's ass. Uh, Every time you talk about that, oh, you wet my face down by rocking my sandal. Rocking my sandal. Okay, go ahead. I love that movie. That was good. Yes. Hey, wait a minute. Let me cut your hair. No. Yeah. They ain't done funny. Face. like over there. They never once touched Cuba Gooding Jr.'s head. Never once. That's never the once. one thing I learned about being his protege. You don't touch his hair. You don't touch his yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah, definitely don't touch my hair. I, I, this rag has touched his hair one day. Oh. When he got on my stuff about uh, cleaning too much. He said, wait a minute, that needs cleaning too. Well, okay. uh, I think Mike Smiley found out the hard way from yes. what I've heard. <laughs> yes, Mike Smiley. Where, where's Mike been? Oh, we have another guest, Mike Hi, Smiley. Hi, boys and girls, this is Mike Smiley. Hi, Nick. Do we have questions or what? I'm your worst freaking nightmare. What is the first question? Aren't you supposed to say... I'm was gonna, your shoulder up? I'm going to bring a knife to the show. A knife? And if you ever put that ball out on me again, I'm going to pop it and stab this guy just to stab him. Hey, security. Aren't you supposed to be... Just be on guard. Isn't that a, isn't that a like threat? Or, oh, that's terrible. Okay. All right. Aren't I supposed to... In other words, wait a minute. They have questions. We have answers. There you go. All right. This first question comes from Elijah Martin. Oh, good dude. Good from dude. Wyndham, Ohio. Uh, Oof, who knew? He's actually, he's actually funny enough, he's actually one of my neighbors. Okay. Well, all right, Elijah, how you doing? All right. What's your favorite wrestling collectible you own? Mine is, I don't know if you consider it a collectible, but when I won the Logan Scott Heart of a Warrior trophy. Oh, the belt? Belt. Yeah, right there. Th that belt's awesome. And it's very awesome. Yeah. I actually am a also a one-time Logan Scott. Weren't you the first-time winner? Yeah. And I was the third. They're still currently champion, right? Um, if you count it as a champion for the uh, for the um, wrestle for the cure, wrestle for the cure. I am the I am also the Logan Scott Arm Order champion, like as in that. But didn't. The uh, belt is actually given for coming back after something courageous, such as heart surgery, mm -hmm. you know. And, of course, he came back after, you know, old age. Uh, no, he had heart issues as well. Who the hell gets a Social Security check and kicks the valedictorian's ass on the same day? Can I ask you a I question? Did. That's who. How many times the valedictorian went other than that one win against As far you? as I know, not too much. Whoa! Whoa! I, I don't, that was a doctored video, by the what way. What are you talking about? You know, it's 2022. They got that deep fake AI technology. Yeah, and they had some jag off, dressed what? like an old man. Yeah, I wonder. Way older than myself. I wonder who that was. I smart, like to figure that some, out. some jag off. That's all I can. That was you. <laughs> no, it was not me. Okay. I'm pretty sure so, that was you. So before we answer, I got a question for you. I was watching last week's show. Did I mess up your elbow? You had a blue thing on your elbow. Oh, no, that... No, you didn't mess up my elbow, you bonehead. That was from, um... I, when, when you're benching and doing a lot of curls and stuff, I have, like, a little in, like a little thing here that starts to hurt, so I, I use it. Five dollar holla. <laughs> he didn't see it. It's so good. What is wrong with you? <laughs> You'll find out Sunday. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, you in, so you injured it working out? I didn't injure it. it That's just, the story it, 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 it has, um, you know, when you're back, just like every once in a while, you'll feel like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, you have, you have tennis You elbow. wouldn't understand this because you don't work out. But me, I, will you stop? I was about that? to say, sir. Look, 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 uh, he got, oh. He got, he got bit by a mosquito. Sun's out, gun's out. Okay, all right. <laughs> I want to, you want to measure arms? No. Okay, that's You want to measure what? Uh, no. no. <laughs> Family friendly <laughs> show. Yeah. Besides that, we already know you won. <laughs> He's he's a beast. Well, you want to know who the real beast is? We're we gonna name, yeah. Okay. Uh, Anaconda. Yeah. Oh, jeez. 
Listen. Longest yard, Adam listen, Sandler. Listen, listen. I don't want to hear about no anaconda. You want to take a ride in my Honda. Listen. <laughs> listen. I don't want to get too deep into it, but. Oh, okay. Danny Doring, <laughs> Danny Doring from ECW, a, a, an opponent and a friend. Um, yeah, that's his uh, nickname that he calls it to the girls out there. So what was your favorite collectible? The Danaconda, by the way. <laughs> Moving right along. The Danaconda. Okay. Well, <laughs> is that your favorite collectible? The favorite Danaconda? Collectible. The Danaconda. <laughs> My favorite wrestling collectible? Absolutely not. It's never been a freaking whatever. The Danaconda <laughs> model. <Hey>, okay. <laughs> Listen, I donated my favorite things to, to this bar for you. Oh, I know. Like, you turn around right there. It's a Mar autograph, Marty Jannetty. Um, well, it's actually the Rockers. Thank God I don't have Shawn Michaels autograph on it. But Marty Jannetty sent that to me. I did not pay for that. He sent it to me. It says, up top. Look up. To Rick. Yeah. Right there. To, yes. And it says right on there, to Rick. Uh, great, uh, or a good wrestler and a great friend. I think you meant to say great wrestler and good friend because, you know. No. <laughs> but anyway, he says, keep, um, rock, uh, keep rocking that house. You don't house. like Marty HBK? Jannetty. No, I don't like him at all. I heard he was an idiot. Yeah, well, I, I thought that he was... Uh, oh, man, look at me talking bad about a living guy <laughs> for a change. Yeah. Careful, Ken. Uh, you don't uh, want to get sued. That's right why here, the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. I don't think the camera it? can see it. Um, Producers, can they see it? I'll, make, I'll move it myself, personally. There's like a big glare coming down, so they're probably not gonna see it anyway. But I'll show it. the NWA World Heavyweight Championship, which was a which was a gift from a friend. Right. Um. Of course, we got the we got the four horsemen down there. So I, I got a lot of wrestling collectors. He donated like, all these things for the I kindness donate, of his heart. Right. We got the AWA World Championship here. Um. Now this right here was my first ever World Heavyweight Championship. Excuse me, Jason, life size Jason. What's he thinking? Um. Glow. Two, two glow girls from the TV show I got from Front Row Joe. I thought that was awesome. Autograph He's a good guy. Right there. Autograph picture right there. The Four Horsemen with J.J. Dillon. Boom, up there. We got Tully and Arn hanging out. Uh, All right, they asked for right one here. thing. And I don't care. I have too many. a whole museum many. here. Okay. <laughs> I have too many. But, uh, I mean, uh, the Ric Flair's. But if I had to say my favorite, my very favorite, I thought I was going to say, hey, Congressman. It's me, there but it's is. not. It's not. My ultimate favorite is the one I have to have hidden because I don't want it to get stolen by Ken. Ken don't steal. And that is the Euro model Rick Lieb doll. Let me see. Yes, this was purchased at the Dollar Tree oh, sure. in oh, wait, Ohio. Wait, wait, wait. No, I see it. a Come dollar on. and a quarter, no, man. man. You know what? Though I got the uh, I got the Jesse Ventura from uh. PGK. When you have enough of these, you'd be quite the partier. Quite the partier. Come on, Rick. Our beef is over. Let me see it. Nope. Because I know you're going to drop it or something. No. Uh-huh. Anyway, that goes back to... I have a grip like a crab. Yeah, exactly. You have the crabs. I don't want you touching it. <sighs> you know go. You know what? You know what, Ken? You know what you should have done? You should have pulled the little string on the back so it says it's catchphrase. My shoulder was on. <laughs> and that's why he got knocked down. Uh, yeah, security. Wait, he's still walking around showing off. That's because I got to get these last two. Uh, last two, okay? Uh, you know, last two, you know, yeah, last two. But first of all, autograph by Larry Lax. I think, it, you know. Security's cool. got their hands on their guns. I don't the care. I got my hands on my guns, too. Okay. Right here. When I came back after breaking my spine, Oof. I got... Excuse me, Comeback Wrestler of the Year Award. I thought that was fantastic. And then also, myself and Carnage got Feud of the Year. And these were voted on by fans. There was over two, what, what was it? No, over uh, 600,000 votes. Whoa! Yeah, so when you have that many people voting on these things, then that tells me that I actually... Uh, was being paid attention to. You know what? Beast? So, can you make this short? We, we got to make up for this. <laughs> I was yeah. about to say, you know what, Beast? I might have to have one more match, and it might be a tables match, because he just about put me through this table here. Yeah, I saw that. that was... Just stop trying to dog me on the air. I was trying to be nice to you, okay, and you're coming okay. out being a dick. Okay. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, but quickly. Those, what, were, what those was words your, cost money. What's your favorite uh -oh. piece of memorabilia? Quick. Oh. That's a hard one, but I would have to say my That's favorite. That's what she said. <laughs> All right. My, my robe. 
Oh, go. Liberace. I have more than <laughs> okay. One. Check in the mail. Get it? Check in the mail. Uh, so my favorite yeah, we get wrestling it. We get it. collectible. So, so a Barbie doll. So a former referee has told us. Go ahead. Threw him off. Never mind. More about that later, uh, yeah. I guess. What's your favorite collectible? My favorite collectible would have to be a present that my dad gave me when I was five years old that really got me into wrestling. And cool. that would be a 1991 Hasbro Macho King Randy Savage action figure. And you still have it? I still have it. Cool. I, I, Hang I, on, I, I want to see it. I have Macho It was Macho King, not Macho Man. That's why I want to see it. I had Warrior. I had Hogan, I had Sting, I had Flying Brian Pillman, who is one of my inspirations, along with Macho King Randy Savage. I never had a Piper, but that is an awesome Piper up there. I had a couple Ric Flairs of Sid Justice, but the two that I always played with the most were Flying Brian Pillman and Macho King Randy Savage, but Brian Pillman's was a WCW Galoob. I would have never let any of them out of the box. Next question! All right. Who is the first wrestler you ever met from Ruby D, Kent, Ohio? Ruby. Good she, good girl. She's a good girl. All right, wait. I know mine. I know mine. I started wrestling in 1988. Okay. I was trained by wrestlers. I was trained by a guy named the Akron Warlord. So technically, he'd be the second because Denny O would be the first wrestler. Denny O! Yeah. Yeah, well, he would be the first wrestler I ever met. I wonder if he's still alive. I haven't heard. If he is, reach out to him. See if he'll come to an event. I mean... Danny O, are you there? Call us. Yeah, I mean... Pick up the phone! And you, even if you don't remember me, you'd remember the Beast. I mean, for crying out loud. I mean... He's a grandmaster of wrestling, even yes, though he, he wasn't is. there. You used to book him, man. He's now a freaking... Oh, yeah, I did shows. A legend. Shows with him. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me see something real quick. Oh, that's awesome. Our producer walked out to go pee. He's like, yeah, yeah, I know. I think Draven hasn't been on for like hey, Draven hasn't been minutes. on. Who cares? All right. We've heard you. Seen your arms. Glad you weren't showing All any right. facial features. Like going, oh, by the way, like look over here, you know. All right. My favorite wrestler, my first wrestler I ever met in person. I just had to do that on the air, by the way. That's was, uh, now that I think about it, was Baron Cicluna at uh, WIC Studios in Pittsburgh. I was getting a drink from the water fountain, and he came up. And he said, Baron, how are you? He goes, how are you, boys? <laughs> Anyone who knows him gets that one. All right, he smoked a pipe, and he was like, <laughs> okay. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, you got it all going on there. Look at I that. just had to, well, no, that this was out. Mm -hmm. It was out, so I had to put a little bit of the Beast's freaking Diet Coke in there. <laughs> all right. So, so what was the first wrestler you ever met? All right. Hey, that was good. Too bad this is empty now. So, so you know what's funny? I have a cousin who used to wrestle in Cleveland, and I actually he I didn't meet him first. I actually met a, another wrestler by the name of Matthew Justice first. My grandma uh, got a, a newspaper, like she always did. And there was a thing about a former WWE star opened a gym in Streetsboro. Now, he wasn't ever a champion in WWE. He was more of used as a local competitor, or he wrestled on FCW before that became NXT. And I Oh, Florida Championship Wrestling. Yeah. And I went to his gym, and I talked to him. I bought one of his shirts. He talked to me about wrestling, got me a little, how you say, familiar with certain things, and... And he's a pretty good guy. I haven't talked to him in a while, so I hope he's doing well. Good. Next question. All right. Our next and last question. Final question. The first one only took 29 minutes and 32 seconds. Exactly. And then and w w without a producer, which means I had to produce it technically. Okay. What wrestler did you want to meet that you never did meet? And I'm going to say Dusty Rhodes. Never met him. Watch you. Brian Pillman. Yeah. Brian Pillman. So we're going with dead people, apparently. Because the yeah. other ones are... Because I've never met Ric Flair. still want to meet him. But, you know, they always say don't... Ever, and don't join us him. next week, friends, when we have another episode of Dead Wrestlers I Have Never Met. Ric Flair's alive, by the way. Um, Piper. 
Piper. There you That's go. A good one. Three for three on the dead call there. Yeah, it would be Piper. Congressman, how are you? I'd have been like, you know, I'm friends with the congressman. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, why don't you stop for a six pack? Are you a senator? I will say, I do hope one day I get to meet Brian Pillman Jr. I'm sure you would like to meet. Uh, have you ever met Arn? Yes. Arn Anderson? Yes. I've met Arn. I've met Tully. I've have met... you met his son? No. Brock. I'd like to meet Brock. Okay. As a like... matter of fact, I'd like to see Brock get booked with us. If I'm yeah, I'd like to, to see Brian awesome. Pillman Jr. get booked. Too. I would too. I'd like. I'd like to have the. I'd like to have a, a comeback. The, the four henchmen versus the four horsemen. Part two. Yeah, the Hawaiian lions might have to throw their name into that. Shut up. Anyway. On that note. Yeah. On that note. Thank you for being our guest. Uh, no for the Hawaiian lion. No, the Hawaiian hammerhead. Sorry. You messed me up, man. I've been drinking. For the Hawaiian hammerhead, uh, Draven Post. And, of course, the Sicilian beast, Ken Sermonera, a.k.a. Ken Legend. I am your role model, Rick Leave, a.k.a. also a legend, saying join us again next week for another edition of RCW Spotlight. Rory Angel, Lionheart, I love you guys so much. Peace. Quit being an ass. Bye, bye, bye.